Hey guys, I'm back. So I wanted to uh, give you all an update on uh, what I've been working on. So I still have to fix this road right here. You can see parts of it are sticking up on, along the edges. But I decided to uh, make my own custom map. And uh, I'm using world composition, as you all seen in the video I released the other day. And I got some significant performance improvements uh, by messing around with a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, things are starting to come together and uh, look good. So I'll go ahead and uh, play it for y'all so y'all can see it for yourself. There's the train system over there. It's taken off. Um, as you can see, I'm hitting uh, about 100 and yeah, around 100, 110 frames per second. Uh, when when I get in the vehicle here, uh, I still hit a pretty good frame rate even when I start moving fast. I still need to make some tweaks on the car. I think it starts off a little bit too slowly, but maybe that's uh, that maybe that makes more sense. I don't, I don't know. Uh, now the hitching that I got by using world composition, most of that hitching has uh, gone away. Uh, I still get a few small hitches here and there, and I'm going to work on uh, getting rid of that altogether. I think if I reduce the variation slightly uh, in the foliage volumes, then I think that will... Uh, take care of that issue so I just need a little bit less variation than, than what I have right now so mostly I'm gonna remove most of the rocks because this is a hilly environment I might have I might have issues with the rocks sticking out of places uh, and I would rather I'd, I would rather get rid of them if uh, if it means that I don't have to go back and paint no slope uh, zones and and at the same time it should increase the uh, or I should say reduce the uh, hitching between level streams here now the main thing that was causing me performance issues I found out was actually believe it or not the unified interactive water system now that's a, a really expensive water system. Uh, we got it for free uh, a while back and uh, I was lucky enough to catch it when it was given away for free but we were trying to use it for a water uh, for a river and it's just not gonna work uh, so I'm gonna have to uh, uh, I guess work on a water system so I'll keep you all updated on that other than that there's not a whole lot else uh, to talk about. You'll see here and there I'm getting uh, some small hitches, uh, but they're nothing like the four or five second hitches and stuttering that I was getting on the other one. And it's mostly when you're driving the vehicle. You don't really tend to notice it when you're walking. So, uh, of course, there's going to be a lot of this so I'm going to want to uh, try to reduce the hitching and I think reducing the variation and removing most of those stones would, will probably do the trick uh, because I noticed that on that other map whenever I was uh, whenever I reduced all the variation by 50 percent the hitches uh, the hitch time was also reduced so so there's that Anyway, I'll keep you all updated on that. I'll play around with it a little bit, and uh, yeah, this is all I got so far. I think it's looking quite a bit better. I was surprised I was able to squeeze uh, 100 frames per second out of this. Uh, also, as you notice, the uh, LODs on those stones are actually uh, pretty bad, in my opinion. They, not they noticeably pop in and out of existence. Oh, no. My vehicle's getting away from me.
You can turn the engine on, on and off here. Anyway. So, yep, yeah, that's what I've got, guys. I should be... I've had some... You know, I, I know I keep saying I'm, I'm about to start working on the ALS system again, and I am. Uh, it's just I've... I've had to spend the past week trying to figure out what was causing the performance issues because, as you all know, I was uh, getting around 50, 40, 50 frames per second. So I had no idea it was the unified interactive water system that whole time. So, yeah, guys, uh, I'll keep you all up to date, and I'll see you on the next video.